What if I told you that we were wrong when it comes to Pokey Radar Shiny Hunting and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Let's take a look. Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I'm bringing you guys a brand new video today. And today we are diving into the world of Shiny Hunting and Pokemon BDSP and the Pokey Radar method, which is obtained generally post game after completing the Sinnoh Pokedex. However, it's been found that you can actually get the Pokey Radar as soon as you get your first gym badge. If you were to trade and complete the Pokedex that way, the professor will actually give it to you. So you can Shiny Hunt pretty early on in the game. But ultimately, the Pokey Radar is a method of chaining, which allows you to find shiny patches in the grass for designated or specified Pokemon that you're looking for, with odds that max out at 1 in 99 at a 40 chain length. This is a method that allows you to get a ton of shinies if you have a little bit of luck. However, because of the mechanic and the way it's coded and, and just the way it's intended, there's a high likelihood that you'll break your chain as you proceed to try to get a shiny with the Pokey Radar. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys a way to take away some of that frustration as the math and science has been done on it. And we have found that there is an optimal chain length for Pokey Radar to maximize not only your time, but your shiny hunting chances as you move forward on your endeavors of finding shiny Pokemon. Be sure to hit that like button down below if you guys enjoy this type of video. And subscribe to the channel if you guys are new as I post Pokemon videos every single day. And you guys know I do tons of shiny hunting content on the channel, so you don't want to miss out on that. But without further ado, let's break down the research and then let's put it into action. So before I jump to the gameplay, I want to talk a little bit about kind of the methodology here. So a user named Spams on Reddit had, did some, had done some math and ran the numbers. And they made a post a few weeks back about the fact that if you were to get to a chain length of 40, uh, is that actually the best or most optimal chain to get your shiny chances to be maximized? And the conclusion is that actually 17 as a chain length is the most optimal length to get. Now, there's a few things that we're going to do here for this simulation in the sample that ends up looking at 1.2 million shiny hunts as a sample or 30,000 shiny hunts per chain length. And this goes on to state that the player always goes for the patch of grass four tiles away. Very standard stuff. When you capture a Pokemon, you have a 93% chance of the chain continuing. Again, very standard stuff for Poke Radar. This is all true with what our original Poke Radar tutorial was. We are always going to use the Poke Radar and we're going to get four patches to shake. Again, you don't go in the grass unless there's four patches. When you use the Poke Radar at a zero chain, your odds are about one in 4,096 but you have four patches that are shaking at the same time, which essentially makes it so each one of those patches is a one in 4096 chance, but with four instances of that, kind of like horde hunting. If you guys remember from Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, where you would see five Pokemon on screen at once, they would all be a one in 4096 chance, but because you saw four of them at once, it essentially all in one go, your chances of eventually finding a shiny faster do increase. So as you can imagine, as this chain scales up, your chances go up a lot more. When you use the Pokey Radar at a 17 chain, your odds are one in 1986, but you have four chances at a 1986, which essentially brings it to about a one in 500 chance every time you use the Pokey Radar at a 17 chain. So anyway, long story short, the math behind this is stating that when you get to that 17 chain, that is your optimal chance to stop chaining further because of the risk of your chain breaking and simply reset the Pokey Radar over and over and over again to ultimately increase your chance of finding a Shiny. This goes on to make a few predictions or ultimately using a few different points of data to calculate this out. That catching a Pokemon takes a certain amount of time, walking a certain amount of steps takes a certain amount of time, how long it takes to fail, and it doesn't factor in human error. And obviously there's some variation here because some Pokemon are a little harder to catch than others. There's, there's also other factors of soft resetting. You don't want to waste too much money on repels and quick balls, all sorts of stuff. But then this mathematician ends up posting the actual code here and shows the full out breakout here. And this graph is very interesting. So. To explain the graph very simply, the time on the left-hand side is the time spent, or the number on the left-hand side is the time spent shiny hunting, and the number on the bottom side is the time, or the amount of chains that you have. So, as you can see, the optimal chain length here is when you have about a 17 chain length, and that takes roughly about 100, 105 minutes or so, based on this graph. And obviously, as you go higher in the chain length, your chances increase, but the amount of time it takes to get to that higher chain, as well as the amount of time it takes to catch all the Pokemon to get there and all that other stuff, this is saying that the optimal length is 17. It's actually crazy 
This is pretty wild, but I believe the data and it makes a lot of sense because again, you're saving so much time in trying to continue that chain to make it to 40. You're saving so much time in catching all those Pokemon, finding the optimal patch of grass, the risk of breaking and having to start over and so on and so forth. Now, I do think it's important to note there are a few instances where going to 40 does make the most sense. One, if you care about having better stats in your Pokemon. As you get a higher chain length, the opportunity to get better IVs in your Pokemon is much higher. Two, if you're trying to get a lot of the same shiny Pokemon. If you want to get like 10 shiny EVs, then maybe it makes sense to go all the way to 40 because then you'll have your highest shiny chance and you can essentially chain off the shiny every single time, assuming you have the 93% chance of success as you continue on. Um, otherwise, the reality of it is getting to 17 seems like the play here. Um, to me, this is this is pretty pretty crazy stuff, and I feel like it changes the way people look at Pokey Radar. So I'm gonna show you guys an example of how I'm gonna do this, but you guys can let me know in the comment section below what your thoughts are, uh, whether you're gonna be trying to chain to 17 and trying to reset, or whether or not you're going to essentially say, you know what, I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and try to get to 40. Let me know in the comment section below. But let's jump to the gameplay and kind of show it in actuality. Okay, so I've got a rappel down. I'm gonna bust out my little, my little uh, kind of counter here. And I'm gonna do the Pokey Radar. I'm gonna grab a patch four away. And we're gonna begin the process of Pokey Radar here. It looks like I'm doing Silcoon, which seems to be like the only thing I ever go for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a standard chain here, see if I can get it to 17, and then I'm gonna show you exactly what you wanna do. All right, so I have officially gotten to a 17 chain, and I just wanna be very clear about how this goes. Of course, I broke my other chain at 16. Go figure. So the idea behind this methodology now is that at a 17 chain, I am essentially getting four patches that all have a one in 1986 chance, which means that every time I reset my radar, I have roughly a one in 500 chance or four in 1986 chance to see a shiny pop up. So what I'm gonna do is instead of looking for the optimal patch, which would probably be the top, the top one there, I'm actually going to reset the radar. So I'm gonna get away from the patches, I'm gonna run up and down and I'm going to reset my radar. You have to do 50 steps. I'm gonna reset my radar and get a new set of patches. I don't see a patch that I want. I see four patches, that's fine. And I'm gonna continuously do this until I get my shiny patch. Now again, very simply put, the reason behind this is you're saving yourself the heartbreak of breaking your chains. You're saving yourself a ton of time in trying to get to 40 in the first place and potentially failing. Now, you do need to still pay a lot of attention, right? Because you gotta keep an eye out, make sure you don't accidentally run into a grass patch. You're spending a lot of time resetting as opposed to trying to keep your chain going. But ultimately, by doing this, you do increase your chances of getting a shiny in a shorter period of time. It's roughly still about an hour. I mean, it only took me 10 minutes to get the 17 chain. And then if I were to reset for about 90 minutes here, I would ultimately most likely find a shiny just based on the standard odds of how long it takes to get the various encounters and the pokey radar and the resets and everything like that so this is basically the most optimal way to pokey radar believe it or not it is to get the 17 and stop there and then just keep on resetting this is the secret tech now you obviously need your pals you need to do all the fundamentals of the regular pokey radar as said in our original tutorial but just don't waste your time going to 40 unless you want to get those better stats and unless you want to get a bunch of uh, shinies, like multiple of the same shinies. This is going to be the way to get it done. 17, ladies and gentlemen. That's the deal. That's the plan. That's what you want to get to. Right here, this is your optimal chance. So that's the rundown on Pokey Radar. We originally thought your best bet was to get to 40, get the 1 in 99 chance, and then grind it out. But the chance to fail a chain just gets much higher as you go. I mean, the reality of it is, you're gonna probably fail that chain before you get to 40, so in my mind, save your frustration. Take the 10, 15 minutes, get to 17. If you break it, okay, it's only another 10 or 15 minutes, and then just reset away until you get the shiny patch. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I'll trust the math on this one. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll have the link to the original thread as well. Be sure to like the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and let me know your thoughts. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Good luck on your shiny hunting. Peace.